the Castillo de San Marco in St. Augustine, Florida, is the oldest masonry fort in the United States. The Castillo de San Marcos was first built in 1672 by Spain during its occupancy in Florida. From, 16, from 1763 through 1784, Britain occupied the state and renamed the masonry St. Mark. When Florida became a U.S. territory in 1821, the Castillo de San Marcos became Fort Marion, named after Francis Marion, a Revolutionary War hero. It was not until 1942 that the Congress renamed the building the Castillo de San Marcos. A bastion, part built out of the corner of a fort, it allowed defenders of the fort to fire upon a greater area. The Castillo has four bastions. Coquina, a type of rock from which the Castillo de San Marcos is made. This rock is made up of small pieces of shell that has been cemented together. A curtain, a wall that connected two bastions, was part of the main wall of the fort, also called a scarp. The drawbridge, a bridge that could be raised and lowered, it allowed people with business to cross the moat. The glacis. A gradual slope created between the fort and the open country to prevent surprise attacks. The moat. A wide, deep ditch dug around the fort or castle to prevent attackers from entering. Moats are usually filled with water. The fort coolis. A large door made of iron or wooden bars that close behind the drawbridge to prevent attackers from entering the fort. The powder magazine, a room in which the gunpowder was stored. The room was specially built to be cool and dry. The Ravelin, a triangle shaped building in front of the main gate of the fort that protected the entrance. The Sally Port, an opening in the wall on the fort used by soldiers going out to attack. At the Castillo, it is also the only entrance to the fort. The photograph shows the original Sally Port door. The Terrapin, a broad, flat, raised area in which cannons were placed and from which defenders of the fort fired on attackers. It's also called the Gun Deck. The Wells, places from which fresh water is drawn. Wells were needed inside the fort because attackers often surrounded the forts to prevent food or water from reaching the people inside. To find out more about St. Augustine, return to the original video by using this link above. Thank you.